Raising intercompany transactions can be quite an admin heavy function of most businesses. With Dynamics 365 Business Central, you can raise intercompany invoices, orders, and even journals. There's an intercompany chart of accounts which can be defined and mapped. And within the customer and vendor ledgers, you simply define a customer as being intercompany and which of those mappings to use. In this example, I'm going to raise an intercompany invoice. The invoice is just for a general ledger code, but it could equally be for stocked items. And I'm just going to change the description as to what that's for. It will use that background mapping to determine where that needs to be posted. And once I've posted the invoice, we can go and have a look in the other company to see how that transaction's handled. So I simply select post as normal and I don't need to preview the posted invoice. Using the my settings, I can change between companies within Business Central. So log out of HBP and into Camrim because I do have access to both. And it could be that the transactions are posted automatically. However, in my case, I have an intercompany inbox turned on so that the person that's doing the accounts for my sister company can have a look at the incoming transactions, check they're happy with coding, um, maybe dimensional analysis as well, and then choose to post them manually through an approval process effectively. Once all the details have been checked, I've got a few options. I could cancel the request to post into company and post it manually, post the transaction by um, accepting it, or I could equally send it back to the intercompany um, inbox on the other side for some information to be updated before I get the transaction. Once it's um, accepted, that will post the invoice onto my vendor ledger as normal.